All right, welcome back, folks. Uh, last time I was playing this, I wasn't really in the right state of mind, was I? It's going to be interesting to see if I can remember what was going on. Uh, just real quick, notice I did uh, change uh, the bit rate. I lowered it a bit because the files were ginormous and a pain to upload. But I did start uploading. I'm not going to put them, you know, make them available right away. I want to get a few more under my belt. But, um, but yeah, if you happen to see in this episode that, you know, if it's noticeable that the, the sound or the visuals look noticeably worse or anything, just let me know in the comments. I'd appreciate it. Okay, so we have these guys holding down the fort, quite literally. And uh, Mesca here is not in great shape, is he? No. But they're patched up. Should probably rest, but we do need food. There is no food, and it looks like they're going to cook now. Uh, Cass is sleeping, and then we have our little group here, our caravan, which is going to go to this outpost where there's two enemies, and we need to destroy the outpost. I assume that just means kill the enemies, uh, but maybe not. Maybe we actually have to destroy it. And let's see, what else did I want to check? Oh, yeah, I wanted to check... Hmm. History. Messages. Yeah, okay, so... Apparently, we can get to uh, stuff that's uh, been uh, turned off on the side here by going into messages under history. Let's see if it has any other information. Uh, it's pretty much all the same stuff. So we'll figure it out when we get there. Uh, and they are how far away? 1.6 days. And you have enough food for that. Okay. I remember getting home from there is probably going to take quite a long time. All right, well, let's get going slowly but surely here for a second as I get my bearings again. Uh, looks like we have a hurt. Oh, that's right, the cougar killed our llama. We need to do something about this cougar. What we also need to do is probably make like a pen for our animals so they're safe from things like cougars. Uh, where would I do that? I could do it up here. I don't really know. I don't really anticipate expanding up there much. So, let's see. That probably shouldn't be the same dumping ground as our chunks, should it? Let's turn off chunks in there. And let's get another dumping zone. I mean... So it takes a while to dump stuff, but at the same time, you don't want to dump stuff nearby because then it becomes cover for your enemies. Hmm. I have the same problem with Dwarf Fortress, like where I want to put my trash stockpile. Let's just... I mean, eventually we're going to want to make like bricks and stuff out of these chunks. The problem is they're just ugly. Okay, for now, I'm just gonna put it here. And this will be for just chunks. Be very chunky over there. And we will grab those and have them haul. That's not gonna be enough room for them, but it's a start. And then I need some walls we can't build we can build there that must be fertile and not uh mud i actually don't mind building over that let's start with something like this i'm trying not to kill the grass actually no um, cancel that and we'll do something like that. That'll be our animal pen. We'll have a door here. Uh, it'll be covered and they'll be safe from attacks. 
fact. Maybe we just do... Oh, gosh, I hate that. Okay, and then we'll put a door here and a door there. And a door there and a wall there. And that will make sure that our animals, our grazing animals, stay completely safe. He's already working his way over here. Okay, so... All that stuff... Yeah, but not this. Okay, you can haul that, and yeah, we'll have a decent amount of grass and stuff in there. Okay, I wanted to... It was just a minor break risk, okay. Low food, low medicine, low everything. Oh, that's right. Um, can I turn that mod on. I did grab the mod where you can see what they're saying to each other. But I don't think I can turn it on in-game. I don't know. Bear with me for a second. Mods. Interaction bubbles. Turn it on. I like how the game can automatically restart. I mean, it went black for you guys, but it stayed up for me. Okay, so let's load good intentions. Load anyways. Yeah, next time they talk to each other, it'll pop up on screen just right next to them. So there's our little baby. Hey, cave. All right, so we're getting a little hauling done, which is nice. Mesca, huh? What's your problems? The serious pain, yeah. Feel free to recreate whenever you want. Oh, we have a uh, dead guy over here. And Cass, you don't dig graves, do you? No, but you could, right? You could. Uh, so people keep on getting bad feelings from looking at that. So let's get the guy buried. It's only the right thing to do after all. And let's go up to speed two. At least, maybe three. All right, you're going to go immediately bury him. That's awesome. Hopefully that'll keep Mesca a little happier. And then Cass, are you a cleaner? Actually, Mesca should be cleaning before doing anything else. So I'll just kind of leave it alone. How do our zones look? We have an indoor zone that looks about right. I'm telling the uh, alpacas to stay there. Not storage. Well, this was previously the area that we were allowing all the animals to go to. And let's see, we got... Uh, might as well lay down these floors. I wish I could kind of prioritize this. I want them to make that first, but I'm not really sure how they, uh, they do that. Now, I did notice that um, I was watching someone else's playthrough, and I, I could have swore there used to be just a crafting table, but apparently not. So we have uh, kind of all the, the general crafting stuff uh, that isn't locked behind research already. And we could use a stone cutter's table to start turning some of these chunks into stone so we can stop building with uh, kindling here and wasting wood and stuff with stuff like that. So, you know what, first of all, let's cancel that. And let's see, probably need to move all this stuff over there so we can open this up. I could just delete it, couldn't I? 
Yeah, let's just do that. All that should get moved over there. I think I just copied the settings over. Uh, let's take a look at taking down these walls then. Oh, but we still need... I mean, the battery's got to move at some point, but we'll leave it there for now. Actually, the first thing I should do with the stone that I get is, uh, is to build the, the battery area. This could be a good little spot for the batteries. I could get two in here. Maybe more. Because I could put... Oh, that's right. We can't even make batteries, can we? We can steal batteries, but we can't make them. Well, they're two by two, so if we went into... I forget where planning mode is. There we go. So if we put... Or we can turn that into a wall and instead do something like that. Oh no, we have a refugee and only two people to hold down the fort. I don't even know if they can uh, fight. Chased by pirates, one scavenger gunner. Well, we obviously have to offer safety. Hmm. This could be bad. Okay, so he's quite good at shooting in melee. But despite being a gunner, he has no gun. In fact, he has no weapon at all. Oh, no, no. This is the person that's running away. Never mind. And he's immediately going to eat some ambrosia, apparently. Well, it's good that you can fight, but I don't think we have any... Oh, Mesca has a knife. Okay. Um, let's see. Is that our crafting spot? It is. I don't think we have enough time necessarily, but if we could make like a bow or something real quickly, that would help. Melee is better. We could just make another knife or a club. In fact, do we ever move this uranium over? We did. Let's see. I don't know how much this is going to take. Let's make a uranium club. 20 ingredients. Why doesn't it tell me how many uranium I have? Because it said uranium was really heavy. So I'm going with the Dwarf Fortress kind of blunt weapon should be the most dense material possible. Uh, do we have anyone who's even halfway decent at, const at um, crafting stuff? Yes, Mesca is. McKnight. All right, Mesca. Priorities. Make us a uranium club for McKnight. McKnight, I don't really want you harvesting stuff out there right now. That would be plant cut. So let's get this stuff all figured out. And hunting can be a two. Growing a plant cut is fine. Now let's put both of those at two. And your crafting is eight. His is 11, so... Yeah. You got a little bit of art to you. Again, those guys are better. Eight versus 11. Oh, it's the same skill for all this. Okay, I'm just going to turn you off for those. There you go. Just don't want you hanging out there. Ooh, however... Grab some medicine. I think we're going to need it. How about that one? Is it grown yet? No. Okay. All right. Yep, here comes the raid. How far are you on with that? 12. 11. Okay, I think we'll be fine. We'll get that done in time. They're attacking immediately. Okay, so he does have a gun. Whew. And he has no skill at it. But he 
will enjoy hitting us in the face with the butt of the gun. He's a quick sleeper. He's kind. Doesn't sound like it. Bit medieval. Incapable of skilled labor or hauling. So he's pretty darn useless. I can see why you became a pirate. And yeah. I hope he doesn't kill us. And I certainly hope he doesn't join us. And what was your gun? Your gun looks like it could be good. A machine pistol. I wouldn't mind having that, though. Oh, and you got go juice on you. Okay, well, we're working on it. Where are you, McKnight? Okay, good. You're taking in the meds. So we're going to need to flank with our guys here. How close are we on this? Get in there. Okay, McKnight, I'm going to draft you, bring you down here so you can grab that club as soon as it's ready. Cass, you're there. Um, you're not capable of fighting, right? Yeah. That kind of sucks. And Mesca, oh gosh, two melee guys. Well, for smart, that's a big if. I think we can do this. So Cass, I'm gonna draft you. I'm gonna send you right there. Uh, animals, I need you indoors. And I'm actually, instead of, let's make sure that indoors is actually indoors. Yeah, let's get rid of that for now. I want you in there. Okay, that should work. Hey, let's go chat about tall people with McKnight. Okay. Equip the Uranium Club. Let's take a look at this thing. It's a Uranium Club. Apparently it doesn't have quality. I expected, like, normal or poor or something. Um, 8.5 melee damage per second seems pretty good. Nesca, you have... Um, that's a good steel knife. Yeah, it's better than that, per second-wise, at least. One's a bashing and one's a stabbing. Hopefully the bashing will just knock him out with a first swing or two. Here comes Fitz. Um, you're going to consume a simple meal. I will allow that. Oh, uh, McKnight. I want you there. And as soon as Mesca's done eating, I'm going to put him right here. Oh. Fitz, you're going the wrong way. Let's see what he decides to do. I'm giving him a way in with Cass here. You gonna go around? No, you're gonna try to beat down that door. You know what, that's actually better. Because I doubt you're even gonna get us shot off before we can club you. And then I'm gonna draft Mesca. Man, I wish we had a door going out that way now. Hmm, hmm. Actually, I want you to go around. I don't know how long this door's gonna hold though. Okay, Cass. Um, oh! He's going around now. Okay. So he's going to come around this way. Let's get you in there, Mesca. Uh, you're not going to be quick enough, are you? Oh, where are you going, Fizz? I'm so confused. <laughs> He's confused, too. Um... 
see if I can get Mesca over there. Oh, you're going to start attacking our crap then. Okay. All right. McKnight, send you over there. Cass, send you there. can't put you on top of the rocks. Oh, okay. So Cass is going to walk all the way out that way? No, it'll go over those rocks. I just can't make him stop on the rocks. Okay, he didn't see us coming. Okay, so we've crushed his lung and stuff. Hopefully McKnight lives through this. Okay. Uh, Mesco leveled up. And now this guy is dead. Oh, I was hoping he'd be unconscious. Okay. Well, we can send you guys in. McKnight, what happened? Ah, uh, just some bruises and cracks and destroyed left ring finger. No real damage done. You'll be alright. So, who's our doctor left here? Mesca's the doctor. Okay, well, Mesca will take care of this. And let's allow that gun and the go juice, and he will be hauled into our freezer. We've gotten some ship pieces, which we can set to deconstruct. Oops. Well, let's see how close these guys are getting. All right, they're very close. Half a day. Oh, Mesco, you got hurt too? Uh, barely. How about you, no, can't you use that to tend to him, or do you already have some? Did I make that a medical bed? Why aren't you going to use the medicine? There you go. Okay. Don't know if it mattered making that a medical bed or not. Oh, good. He's getting hauled to storage. We're going to need another grave. Actually, I can deconstruct that. It might be worth having just a little room for uh, corpses so that they can't see them every time they walk into the freezer. Not that we're going to be in the habit of keeping corpses in our freezer. Um, okay, Cougar's over there. Let's uh, get our zone set back up. Allow our animals a little more free reign. You know, actually, I'm going to leave that because I don't want them going that way. But there's some grass and stuff they can eat over here. Got about eating bell peppers. Okay, let's go to speed three. I think these guys are working just fine on their own here. And hopefully we'll get to go do that attack on the, whatever it was, outpost. It is pretty dirty around here though.
You know what? You're actually not horrible at constructing. You're better than any, than any of these guys. Cleaning and hauling and constructing. Okay. Yeah, you're all patched up. You're fine. Botching a lot of construction. Alright, this area is almost closed in. Alright. Automatically pauses. I need to stop doing that. All right, we got NG here. The Steel Gladius and Barrel with the Steel Mace. I like your names. Look at all these trees. Oh my goodness. So many trees. Cypress. Maples. Huh. Okay, so we're down there. And we just need to kill these guys. They don't have any turrets or anything, but they are well protected <laughs> by trees. All right, well, let us first make a little safe area for our muffalo from Murray. I'll make it area one. And there seems to be some nice grass and stuff for you over here. So animals, Murray, you stick over to area one. These guys are already all drafted. Jay. Why did you come, Jay? Seriously, why did I bring Jay? He has no weapon. Oh, no, we rescued Jay. That's right. Okay, at the previous place, and then we came straight here. Good. Okay, so we have grenades and a gun. We could have given Jay a gun, but we blew it up with the grenades. Alexander, I'm looking at you. So let's grab these guys, and I want... I think I need to start from this area. And that way we'll have a clean line of sight. These trees otherwise are going to be a problem. So let's first go there. Actually, we can first go there probably and have Barrel not get to us. And then something like that. Oh, I want you to go on the outside. Is Barrel coming for us? Kind of looks like he is. Okay, that's fine though. I guess I should probably send Jay down here. Wow, he's pretty quick. Oh, no, stay here. Stay. Dang it. There we go. <laughs> I don't know how close to try to get... Oh, dang, I keep on doing that. How, uh, how accurate are you? There, Alexander. Okay, that worked. Happy is not particularly happy <laughs> about uh, Alexander's lack of concern about his life. No, no, I, I got it. We'll just throw the grenade right behind him. You'll be safe. His body will block all the shrapnel. Yeah, yeah. Poor steel mace. Poor barrel. 
Beryl's still alive. Incapable of nothing is coma child, space pirate, nimble, body purist. Well, we'll try to take care of you, Beryl. Um, we were told to destroy this place, and I still have no idea what that means. But it may mean Ingi is not allowed to run away? Don't know. A oh, quest is complete, though, because they are running away. Gotcha. And when do I get my uh, whatever the reward was? Who knows? Well, you know what? We'll let NG run away if he wants to run away. We need to then, uh, first of all, we can do that. Happy will go tend to himself is my guess. He will rest. We should have meds with us. I need to claim everything here. And we'll also unforbid... That was forbid. I will allow everything as well. And... Yeah, Happy, what are you carrying? You're carrying a wooden bed. Why isn't that on the muffalo? Murray. Anyways, uh, let's grab Murray, tell him he's unrestricted. And then... Actually, let's just grab everybody. And send them here. Oh. <laughs> we could take Ingi out. No, no, I don't want to do that. I was wondering if I could try to arrest him, but probably not. All right, Alexander, you go check out that place. Uh, you go check out that place. And Jay, you check out that place for me. Okay, so we got a heater, which we cannot uninstall. It has to be deconstructed. Wait, it might be different once we uh, claim everything. Ah, now we can uninstall it. Perfect. Uh, why don't they have any electricity? Oh, it's just dark. Gotcha. They have no batteries. Okay, what do we have here? Awful bed, normal, 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 normal. Poor, poor, normal. Good. Okay, let's turn that into a medical bed. And let's take all of you off being drafted. Happy. You're going to go rest, but what I want you to do is to tend to yourself. I want you to tend to yourself. Ah, there's well, the crack. I wanted you to use medicine, but apparently not. Just a little pain. Everyone is tired. I guess it is uh, 2 a.m. Oh, uh, Barrel, we gotta we gotta save Barrel. I forgot. Um, capture, huh? Yeah, we'll make that for prisoners. Alexander, you can sleep in one of these poor beds over here. Okay, so as soon as you're done tending to yourself, actually, you're done. Alexander, capture barrel. You're a fast sleeper. I forgot about that. Let's also get uh, some more meds harvested. I'm afraid we don't have any. We probably do, but I am afraid we don't have any. Uh, anything else? Kind of hard to see with all these trees. 80% grown. Okay.
Forgot to check and even see uh, how long Barrel has to live. Three hours. And happy you're our best doctor, right? Jay's a doctor, too. Of course, it's dark in here. But please go tend to him. Apparently, we still have no meds. Make sure it is barrel. That's the problem. Oh, and you went up to five in medical. And he's gaining time by the second. It's only 22 degrees outside. Fahrenheit. Uh, yeah, we're at speed two. Okay, so it looks like barrel will live. Now, I wonder. What happens if we just release him now? Oh, they'll pick him up and move him. You can talk to him and feed him and stuff, but I'm going to wait till he's fully healed before we let him go. Or until we just need to leave. So quiet. Fox over there. Just gonna harvest some of this stuff. Okay, you guys are good. Let's check uh, back here. How are things going? Grave got built. Good. Someone will go bury him at some point. This is getting opened up. Hello. Oh, that's what we, uh, that's what we got. Cool. Psychic Emanator. Does it just work forever as long as you have power? Let's put it somewhere. I mean, that'll capture some of our animals as well. I don't know really what's the best choice. I'll just put it uh, here for now. Should be close enough to some electricity. Starvation. Happy is starving. No. Where's our food? There's our medicine. Oh, I wish I could see all of our stuff easily here. How do they not have any food here? I mean, perhaps we're just out of food. Reform caravan. Okay, so we do have meat. One piece of meat, some fungus, and some berries. And that's it. Why? Oh, no, that's on the map. Okay. Grab the heaters for sure. Uh, silver? Yeah. I mean, steel bed wouldn't be bad, but it puts us overweight. It's a good bed, too. Okay. Uh, but we won't do that right now. Because apparently we need to make some food. I mean, the guys can forage, right? But... 
Where are all these bucks and does and stuff? They're all over there. That's not too bad. I'm, I'm just confused as to where the food is. <laughs> okay, you have some of the food. Okay, I'll have you drop the berries and that. Should have made one of these the prisoner room. <laughs> I mean, it kind of works. But we can all stay in here. He can stay in there, and we'll make one of these just uh, a little storage area real quick. Cooking area. Oh, man, I'm playing slow. I apologize. Oh, well, whatever. Major break risk. Mesca and McKnight. Okay, let's make this the prisoner one. Yeah, barrel. We'll make it medical too. You're cleaning dirt. Oh, you dropped the stuff, but then picked it right back up. Okay, not bad. Uh, okay, they're just minor now. All right, so after you eat that happy, I need you to start killing some animals. There we go. Hopefully that'll be enough. And we're going to need a place to cook it. Temperature. Actually, let's uninstall these first. Okay, let's get a little uh, stockpile zone. So little room around here. Is this roofed? No. Let's do something like that. Ooh. I'm surprised you're hitting anything with all these trees. Let me help you out. <laughs> he knows about cover. And now you're going to build a roof? No, you are going to... We have nowhere to put the buck. I didn't make my stockpile zone yet. How about just food for now? Oh, it's a corpse. There we go. All right, so I need... Oh, how do I want to do this? How about a butcher spot? As unsanitary as this may be. Out here. Or penalty. Into I mean, I guess I could put it in here. 
It's just gonna make a bunch of blood. And then we need a campfire in here as well. And you know what? We'll just allow everything in here. Now what are you doing? Oh, there's an... Okay. I didn't see anyone else hunting them, but apparently they're all dead. Oh, because there's nowhere to take them. So all that shooting wasn't for just the one buck. It was for all three. Infection. Barrel has got sick from an infection. Well, looks like Happy's on the case. Um, I didn't really even realize I could do that. So, yeah, I'm sure you'll be fine. All right, Bills, we need, I have a feeling he's about to eat that. do forever uh, come on happy what are you up to feeding buck to barrel <laughs> not assigned to cooking well who can cook that would be Jay where you at Jay you're hauling herbal medicine in which is great and then I need you to prioritize butchering. And Alexander, I need you... We have no wood. Come on, give me a fully grown tree. There's so many of them. Okay, well, 73 is not bad. Chop wood and... Alexander, please do that. Happy's healed. That's good. Oh. I don't really want you eating raw food. Alexander, are you hanging on... On to food still? No. And Murray, you didn't have any? No, but you do have the herbal medicine. Oh, Jay. How hungry are you? Pretty hungry. Still, I'm going to keep you from doing that until we can cook. I really don't want people getting sick. Okay, good. We're going to make a fire. All right. We'll make a bill. A simple meal forever and Jay are you our cook yeah there we go both Jay and Happy are starving Happy go eat that Okay, go eat that. You deserve it. And then continue cooking? Yeah. Yeah, and about animals and bow ties and poker. Hmm. Wonder if Happy likes poker, maybe we should build a poker table. Alright, Beryl, how's your health looking here? Hmm. Infection is outpacing the immunity so far. Murray's keeping you company. I'm going to have Murray drop his meds. I wonder why that's just sitting out there. I could just install one of our batteries that we're hanging on to so we could get uh, heating through the night and stuff, but it doesn't really matter. Okay, so 
I missed the starvation, but I think it was McKnight. How you doing? You're actually still pretty hungry, and we don't really have any food over here, do we? I kind of, uh, I want to say forgot about you guys, but pen's almost done. We just ran out of wood, it looks like. None of these are really particularly grown, are they? No, they are not. That one's ready. Okay, uh, where are we going to find food? Is there anything dead on the map? Here's that ambrosia. That's rotten over there, though. Fortunately, we don't really have any long-range weapons, so our food choices are quite low. No matter what we do, we're going to get hurt when we do it, probably. Uh, what could I do for food? Well, I guess we could harvest the ambrosia. It's kind of far away, but... Um... I think they were all ready. Yeah. So that'll be food. And hopefully, one of the predators will make some other food for us. That our cougar? Probably. It's the closest one, at least. You know what? Consume the ambrosia before you starve to death. Ambrosia warmth. Just don't get hooked. So I guess maybe these guys aren't allowed to eat um, ambrosia, are they? Looks like they're allowed to eat everything. Is ambrosia not in this? Oh, it's probably a drug. Yeah. There it is. For addictions, for recreation. Well, I want it for food, but... Doesn't give a huge boost to food. Uh, he's really low. And he's really low. You might have some ambrosia addicted folks before we can get back. Okay, let's switch over here real quick. Okay, we got plenty of meals. Barrel. Oh man, I don't know what we do with barrel here. We can treat him one more time, release him, and leave. I think this infection is going to win. I'll have Jay treat him as soon as he can be treated. Giving him some food. Six, five, four, three, two, one. How... Yeah, you're plenty rested. Ooh. This is going to be rough. I think the right thing to do is not leave until we know he's either safe or dead. Uh, we could start loading this stuff up, though. Right? Let's see, Jay, you're relaxing. Happy you're cleaning. 
Yeah, let's, um... Actually, are you still carrying that stupid bed around? Drop your bed. Okay. Give heater to pack animal. Too heavy. Drop that. That. Wow, that's all you can carry, huh? I mean, I guess we could cut off the leg. <laughs> mm, cast it starting, that's right, we gotta deal with this. It casts. Oh, you can't eat ambrosia. Uh oh. You also can't go fight for your food. I don't see any berries around. Oh, well. There we go. He's got the best plant cutting. McKnight, huh? Oh, yeah, McKnight. Doing that. No, I need you to get some berries and stuff. Hello. Cass, found you something to eat. Caravan request. The knave contacts you. They want patch leather 640. Get advanced components in tech proof sub persona core. Whatever the hell that is. We have 26 days. Doesn't tell me what that is now. Oh. Okay, well. These guys are probably going to head over there. Unfortunately, they will not have what is needed. You have a cook, that's good. Kind of feel like I need to watch Cass and make sure they don't just eat that raw. Oh gosh, and we're already at an hour. Volcanic winter. Super volcano has erupted. Oh no. Oh no. I wonder where it's going to affect. Is it this place or the other place or every place in the world? I don't know. We'll have to find that out in potentially the next episode. Mesca cleaning. How about butchering? And then cooking. Get a few meals out of that. You're hauling ambrosia. Okay, when you get back, I want you to eat. Cargo pods. Please have food. That works. So far away, though. Oh, there's more. Oh, no, 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 no. Sorry. I don't want that. Go away. <laughs> okay. Well, that's not all that important right now. I want you... Wherever that ambrosia went... 
Ooh, another one. Let's go grab that. And... I... Or, I mean, the fungus. I lost the fungus. Wasn't it over here? Oh, there it is. Um, Mesca's already... Cooking a simple meal out of the fungus, apparently. You already went through all the meat? You did not. That's okay. We got enough meals to deal with the starvation issue right now. How about we haul the fungus? Nice. All right, Cass, you're almost back. I assume you're going to go feed yourself right away. Yeah, awesome. Okay, so these guys are set for a little bit longer. Let's go back here. It's not easy uh, dealing with all this stuff. Oh, how you doing? Ah, uh, the immunity is catching up. One more tending. It's probably all we have anyways, but we might get a shot at this. It's saving them. I actually don't want you him to join. I just want, yeah, reduce resistance. I want him to think of us as nice people. We can start packing up. Five hours. That would be at 2,100 hours. They're almost run through their food, though. I mean, I try to do responsible hunting, but we don't get a lot of options here, so... Doe three, doe two, doe six, buck six. Electricity went out. Uh, honestly, we don't need this one on. Uninstall it. There we go. And you didn't grab it because there's nothing. stockpile is there. Advertise hauling doe dead. I gotta stop this episode. And I will. I'll stop right here. So in the next episode, well, we're dealing with a volcanic winter, apparently. Uh, we'll also be heading to here, I believe. Uh, actually, if we uh, just real quickly reform caravan, choose route. Uh, four days. Whereas just going back home, uh, I meant like, oh, uh, okay. Whereas that is 5.9 days. Okay. That's 5.7. So it is actually faster to go around this way and stop there first. Interesting. 
All right. But with that, thanks for watching, folks. I will see you all in that next episode where we hopefully uh, get out of here with maybe Beryl even being alive. <laughs>